How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me again. I know I'm in a little bit of a different spot. I kind of wanted to bring this down in the living room because this is kind of where I like to do these kinds of things. But uh, I want to say happy spooky season. It's the first video of Halloween. I'm really stoked about it. This is my favorite time of year. But let's get right into it. Um, today we're going to be talking about something that's really important for me and I really think it's a beneficial thing for all people, especially artists and being more productive in what they're trying to do. And that's going to be journal. More importantly, I have a ton of journal, a ton of journals, but this one right here is the most important one to me. So this one is going to be the one that I really uh, use the most and I really get the, the most work out of. Now I just want to jump into this and say that most people typically only do a simple journal. I have all kinds of different things that I use. I have a planner, I have an idea book, um, and then I also have my to-do list journal as well. Um, to-do lists aren't for everybody, but I'm going to go over the, the premise of why I see both of these, more specifically both of these as important. Now really quickly, I just want to go over the to-do list journal really shortly. Uh, pretty much what I like to do with this one is I will uh, go in here and I will write down uh, whatever the date is and then I you know it's usually anywhere from four to six things I would say average is what I usually write down a day now and the reason the thing with my to-do list is I don't really care for being extremely uh, hard on myself for getting everything done because it's not always possible and that's something that uh, a lot of people struggle with is being easier on themselves with their t with their tasks uh, and that's why I say to-do lists aren't for everybody because if you're a little harder on yourself when it comes to getting things done If you write it down then uh, you know, maybe it's just not the best for you to do a to-do list every day But I like to do one because it gives me a pathway and it allows me to uh, have good time management for what I'm looking to try and do uh, Throughout that day and I also think it's really good because you can match the things that you're trying to do with your day with some of your goals and I think that's really important as well. Uh, I like to write down uh, helpful tips and just reminders in the front of this book that really help me out as much as I can. And then pretty much the overall goal of the to-do list though is to give myself a good time management basis. And I think that it's a super beneficial thing. So if you aren't extremely hard on yourself when it comes to getting certain things done, if you write it down, I recommend looking into getting a to-do list uh, style book so you can do it every day. Obviously there's better ways to do it than what I do here with a simple journal, but I think that it's really important to uh, just kind of, you know, write some things down. You know, if you got like a chalkboard or like you got like a whiteboard or something in your room, write down a to-do list every day. It's super nice. But since I, you know, I like to take this to work with me and stuff, so I like to do it in this. If you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. If there's a different style of, video, of journal that you guys do, uh, that maybe you feel like not a lot of people do, be sure to let me know down in the comments. I'm definitely open to trying some different things out. And then if you wanna see more helpful videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I do plan on doing a lot of videos like this as well as uh, you know photography videos, of course. And we're gonna get into that really soon. I got some awesome stuff coming up. So this journal right here is the most important one though. This is the one that I really think everyone can benefit from. And the reason being is because this one will really help you get some things out that you need out. No matter if you're in a rough place or you're in a good place, having an actual well-balanced journal is super helpful. And what I like to do with mine is a little bit different than a normal journal because what I'll do is I will write down a few goals for the month at the, begin at the beginning of the month on one page and then I'll continue the journal throughout after that. But essentially, uh, what this will do is it will allow me to uh, really stay, have a clear focus on what I'm trying to do and it will allow me to uh, be progressive and, and like productive throughout my day because I like to do it first thing in the morning. If I don't do it right here, then I go do it at work uh, if I don't have the time in the morning. So what I do is at the top portion of the journal, I will uh, write out business related things. I'll write out, um, as in like if I've got like an Instagram post, a YouTube video, or a client I need to talk to or a client that day, I will write down what it is and what that what that post or what that client is needing and then I'll write down like what goal I guess really orients towards that. And then I will also uh, just kind of try to be sure that I have a, a clear mindset of, of what I'm going to do business wise throughout that day. And there's obviously other things I could talk about but I feel like it's just not as important. Uh, to really discuss in a video like this because this is more about helping you guys not me um, So finally though, this is obviously the, the bulk part This is what a main journal is and what a lot of people will, will use a journal for that's to write down their thoughts their feelings their emotions 
and uh, you know what their objectives are as a person. So what I like to do is I like to I like to personally write down how I'm feeling that morning, and if it's not in the best way, I like to write down ways that I can get towards that and what I need to do to get towards that. If I'm not if I'm pretty tired, you know, maybe I need to go get some more water. I need to be a little bit more active that day at work or whatever it is, I need to make sure that I'm a lot more focused on that because I think it's a lot more beneficial to um, be, uh, you know, goal objective towards what you're wanting to do for yourself throughout that day. And then as for getting my emotions out or like I guess just any kind of feelings out that I really need to, it's really important to write those down because if it's a little bit of a cluttered mindset, then having them down will allow you to uh, decloud that mindset and really have a, a clear clear amount of judgment on what you want for your day and you can really progress throughout the day and it's honestly super beneficial the more that you get into it the more persistent you are at what you're trying to do it will help you out a lot more so that is really why I recommend journaling because honestly having a clear concise mindset on how you are as a person and how you are feeling as an artist and what your goals are then it will allow you to be more productive throughout the day because you got those more important things out at the beginning of the day and it will allow you to stay focused on your task throughout the day. Um, honestly, I think journaling is one of the best things that I have ever started doing. It was something that I always thought about doing and I put off for a super long time. But now that I actually have started doing it and I, I, I've been doing it for I think almost three months now, every day and even if you get a little bit behind say a day or two just try to make up for that uh, i think that writing down what happened throughout those days is super important um, but i just really think that staying on, on on top of everything is super important i obviously have other journals like my planner and my idea book down here um, the idea book is another one that i really like because i think that if you really plot out some ideas that you have uh you know especially if you have like a, a day where you're just sporadically thinking about ideas of shoots and stuff or like paintings or anything along those lines having an idea book is really beneficial but honestly if you're really trying to help yourself grow as a person as an artist and just as an individual having a journal is super important and i think that it can benefit any single one of you it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter how uh, what what it is that you're doing or what how chaotic your life is having a little bit of your having your head wrapped down have wrapped around itself a little bit is super nice and allowing you to uh, be a little bit more focused on what you want so with that being said uh, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this one uh, obviously I told you guys I want to get a little bit deeper on certain things and I think it's super beneficial if you um, just stay on par with being as deep as you can with yourself and being as true with yourself as you can be because if you aren't able to really help yourself as a person then you're never going to really be able to help yourself as an artist especially if you're trying to grow um you know because i think that a lot of people get so caught up in using art as it's a, as a, as an outlet that they forget that you can also really hurt yourself if you don't focus on what you need to focus on um and art is one of the best outlets ever if you're going through a hard time. I'm not saying don't do that, but I'm saying that you need to make sure that you're staying on top of, of, of working on what you need to work on as well. It's super beneficial. If you, if you can't help yourself, you can't help anyone else. It's the truth. And facing that truth was one of the hardest things that I ever had to deal with. So I always push people to work on what they need to work on. I'm always there to help as well. If you guys have something that you need help with, just please reach out. I'm always there to help. Anyways, though, I am done getting all sappy and deep with you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching this one. If you did like it, be sure to let me know by uh, leaving a like. And like I said, if you guys have a different style of journal you like to do or maybe you want to start journaling, uh, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. And then if you want to see more helpful and a little bit deeper style videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well as photography behind the scene videos, things like that. I have a lot of cool ones coming up. I have a couple shoots planned out that I'm really excited for. I have a wedding coming up as well. I want to show you, I kind of want to take you guys with me. I'm not going to do a lot of like showing what that is, but because it's a personal thing, but I want to just talk to you guys about how it goes. And uh, other than that, I think I'm going to call it good. I really appreciate you guys once again for watching. Uh, thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one.